Welcome to my Atari ST Nostalgia Trip, and in this next episode of my mini Sega Summer Tour, I will have a go at Dynamite Dukes, port from the Sega Arcade in 1989. And this is a scrolling beat em up a la Double Dragon, but instead of tough guys, the heroes here are a blue and red duck called Bin and Pin wearing boxing gloves. And you beat your way through all sorts of strange animal like enemies, all to rescue your beloved Lucy from the clutches of the evil Achacha. So, is this game as weird as this story sounds? I guess we'll just have to find out and start playing. And here we are in the title screen and... As you can tell, we actually start the game off pretty silent. Uh, I mean, in game you can have either music or sound effects, but not both. And you can actually choose the space bar to choose between them and the little icon in the bottom will show you if you are going to play with music and sound effects. Um, I think you cannot change it during the game, only in this title screen, but I'm going to go for music because the sound effects are actually quite, yeah, I would say they're quite poor. Um, this title screen also doesn't look that impressive, but the whole game has a very cartoonish look um, uh, while they're displaying the, hearts, uh, the high scores. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to make it to this table. Um, but yeah, there's not much to tell about this game. Uh, you can see it's done by Core Design, the, the, um, the conversion, uh, originally by Sega. And the animations, um, they look a bit jerky in this title screen. And as you can see, it was published by Activision like many other um, games. But it's time to just start and get introduced to the sort of really uh, amazing backstory, um, which is basically as silly as the backstory from Bubble Bubble, um, which I've read out in the intro already. And it's, it's probably just best to ignore this um, backstory. And yes, I know that you can enter some sort of code in the title screen to get some really naughty stuff in this uh, in this screen, but I'm not going to do that because I want to keep my channel decent. What I am wondering is if this wizard leaves, how are the ducks able to summon this portal door to get to the same world that he fled to? I'm probably overthinking uh, stuff, but... And I'm also playing a cracked version of, the, of this game to avoid the disc swapping and immediately go to this. And I'm also using my emulator to sort of skip the long loading times. And you saw the introduction screener of the level, but it immediately skips to the gameplay with some... Yeah, I would say some pretty decent, nice music. Um, and we see our duck and we can punch and we can also hold up... Uh, Hold down the fire button to sort of point, punch with a lot of a uh, lot of force, and you don't have to kill all the enemies. And actually, the slow gameplay makes the timing actually quite a bit difficult. And you can also walk uh, walk on the pavement uh, in this part of the level to just avoid them. And I just picked up some rocks, and I'm going to get me some treasure. And that chest only has ten points in it. That's a bit little, is it? Maybe that's because this is a correct version, uh, and the game punishes me with less points, but. I'm not here to score points, I'm here to just enjoy myself. And as you can see, now I'm throwing rocks at some very sleepy looking mooses, I guess. So yeah, the enemies all look kind of weird. Um, so it is, it is very cartoon-esque. And in my experience, the aiming is actually quite, quite difficult in, at some times. And I'm going to ignore the bombs because And the hamburger is actually um, to, to increase my health. So this game is very cartoon-esque and at the same time uh, it also makes you uh, ooh, avoid. I was going to say avoid the mice. They come storming towards you um, and I always... Oh, and I'm not doing it right. I'm supposed to avoid the menus because every time you're a hit Every time an enemy hits you, you lose your weapon. You have to pick it up again, which is a bit annoying, but now I've got a rocket launcher, so... And I'm, I'm still struggling a bit with aiming in this game, so the, the perspective makes it a bit difficult. But I think, yeah, the, the, the cartoon-esque part in this game, uh, I think they did it really well, to be honest. I'm gonna kill those enemies because I need more junk food to increase my health. And I don't know whose idea it was to have junk food increase your health. Probably in these days, if a game did that, uh, people would find it totally unacceptable. 
But yeah, we are still in the 80s here, so... And I'm about to face my first, uh, my mid-level boss. And I have lost my, so I'm just going to avoid these dogs instead of trying to attack them. Because, oh, get away from me! And you can see there's two water pistols there, so if you play with two players, uh, each one can pick up a water gun. Because here is my enemy, which is just fire. And basically I have to uh, turn up. Oh! Shoot at the fire with water to... Here we go. Come here then. Pow! There you go. And I've got another hotdog to increase my health. And I think in the arcade you can choose which route you want to go, but here uh, you can only go downstairs. And depending on the home conversion, you're sent upstairs or downstairs. Which I don't know why. And I don't like really like these bombs, uh, because it's very difficult to aim and they, yeah, they go through the air for so long. But it does allow you to get multiple animals and, uh, enemies in one time. That was my last bomb, but there's plenty more here. And now we have very, very angry alligators also wearing boxing gloves. And with all those teeth, some of them might even bite a piece of my ear off. So I guess these are the Mike Tysons of the game. Why won't you just... Ah, finally. And you can see I'm also avoiding all of the enemies, because this game is really made for two-player multiplayer. And I guess in a two-player multiplayer this game is a lot more fun. I do know that this, the funnest part of this game, this is my favorite weapon by far. Because look at that. Even these mice I don't have to fear, so I'm going to ignore the bombs for a bit. Because I think flamethrowers are... Yeah, look, oh! Oh, that cost me a lot of energy, that actually cost me a life. I was stuck between the enemies only with punching and I, I tried to do a big punch, that I should not do, I should just... Oh, and I have to go up here, so I have to jump, which you do with the space bar, which is a bit awkward, I guess. And timing my punches I find quite difficult, but... So, the, yeah, the perspective makes aiming a bit difficult. He moves quite slow. Oh, don't go, f don't go too far back. Because I need my weapon. And I'm going to ignore the rest, because I think I am actually close to the end of the level. So I want to use my weapon to, for the boss fight that's here. See? It hit me and now... Oh, come on. I am not doing very well. Oh, why am I doing it like this? There you go. You're supposed to hit the middle one and try to avoid the rocks. I probably didn't play that as well as I could. While well, I go through this very, very... seizure-inducing uh, portal to the next level. Which is stage 2, which is Japan. Yeah, and I will say... Um, I don't like the fact that I move very slow, especially considering my size. This level has these annoying moles that come. Let's get a donut. Yeah, and if you don't throw the bomb in time, 
You're basically screwed. So yeah, it's best to, to avoid enemies also as much as you can. Ah, this one is... Oh, you have to shoot these twice. What? I did not know that. At least my treasure chest is now worth something. I'm already already have a boss fight. Oh, and now of course I lose my gun, so I can do only I can do is punch them. Well, I'll. I have no idea how I won that boss fight. So your powerful punch is apparently very powerful. Uh, what you can also see is actually the second level. It looks a bit different, but actually the... Oh! Um, that was not very smart. But the way the level is built is actually quite similar to... It looks quite similar uh, to what it was. Oh, and by the way, he will go uh, down the hill automatically. You don't have to push your judging diagonally here. Which is a nice touch. But yeah, here you can see. Um, you can barely see the enemies coming and you have to be in time so much with your bomb. And I'm out of bombs. And that cost me a bit of health. But I have a nice weapon here. It gives me hot dogs. And I think this game is... is it looks to be aimed at, at younger children, to be honest. Like the way the whole... also with the music and stuff. Whoa, was that a ninja star? Man, I hate it so much that I lose my weapon whenever they hit me. It's... I don't know, that's... Oh, I think I over uh, overdid it a bit. Oh, let's get away. Let's avoid these uh, dogs. And just throw rocks at them. Oh! Oh, that was... yeah. And I'm game over. Why not continue? And I think this, this shows that the game is actually probably aimed at children mostly, but probably also quite popular with adults. Because I already got quite far for a first try and... And still it gives me a continue. So I can just keep playing the game. I'm not here to score points, I'm here to have fun, so I don't mind about the continues. Oh, did I just punch a rocket? guys take two rockets but here is it a flamethrower I think so let's go for it immediately what yeah if you ever go to use a flamethrower to kill all your enemies this is probably the best music to play glad the moles thus far haven't bothered me too much, but there seems to be quite a lot of them here, so... Yeah, and I, I can't help feel but think... Um, I can't help but think... I mean, that this game probably really shines uh, when you play it in two-player co-op. But unfortunately I don't have any friends, so I have to play it alone. 
but I can imagine it being really, really fun when you play with two people. Oh, really? That the hit detection seems to be a bit off. Uh, but it works in my advantage here. Um, oh, I have rocks here. Okay. Get away, you stupid dog. Is this a door? I can't go in here. No. What? So I still haven't figured out the exact perspective for this gameplay. Oh, I thought I could avoid it there, but apparently I cannot. Kapow! Yeah, the hit detection is, is kind of... I, w I would say that's probably the worst part of this game. I mean, the perspective which makes the aiming difficult and, and... Yeah, the hit detection seems to be quite off. So I get hit quite, quite easily by enemies. And luckily for me, I can also hit enemies when I'm not actually hitting them. Oh, that's not fair. Sure, why not? I will just continue again. How many continues does this game have? They are homing missiles. So I'm just going to punch him from close. I am not sure if that will work. <laughs> well, apparently it did. And it brought me to the next level while almost being out of health. I will say I'm having more fun than I would, was expecting to have. What? Why is he punching him? And why, why do I have to fight my own brother? He wasn't there all the time. Ah. Winner pin, sorry, no bonus. Okay, I... I freely admit I have no idea how this bonus round worked, but apparently I have to knock out my own brother and, do, and, and I will get rewarded for it. Wow, how far off can this hit detection be? Boxing glove, I need no accuracy. Oh. Oh, that didn't feel fair. That felt so unfair. At least I cannot just avoid. I'm just going to avoid these dogs. I'm going to save my missile for some heavier enemy like this. These Mike Tyson crocodiles again. What? Oh, come on. It's so annoying that I lose my weapon all the time. Yeah, and also if you point down, he turns. So first he's, he's facing diagonally, which is also a bit annoying. So you end up aiming the wrong way. Even when you're, 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 you're meant to fire down, he's... This looks like something strong. What is this? 
And I have another continue. How many continues do I have? Uh, I want to go down because I want to have a weapon. I first want to destroy this enemy. And there was a mole coming from below again. Ah, oh, come on. I don't want those bombs. And I have another. beat him. I will say this game gets re repetitive very fast. Every boss fight is more or less the same, they just look different. And it says what danger? Ah, oh, it says danger probably because I lost almost all of my health. Um, so I'm in great need of good weaponry, which we find here. this game um, is made, I'm actually getting a bit bored. So I'm still playing, um, just because I'm curious about the levels. Maybe I should avoid these. There's probably some stronger enemy coming, uh, where I really need these rockets. So let, let's go to the edge. See, they're actually also quite easy to avoid most of the time. Oh, hello. How was I able to die like that? So yeah, this, this game gives me very, very mixed feelings, I have to say. Truck dials, come here then. I'm surprised by the reach of my boxing gloves. And was it a wise idea to get the bombs? I have no idea. Well, they seem to be working this time. Oh, I forgot to get my health. That was a dumb mistake. I am almost out of health, so I should be killing enemies for junk food. And I didn't do it, so... That is probably going to cost me. Yeah... That was not very surprising. And then... Oh, now I'm doing anything worse. That's the hamburger I needed. But yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, every level is basically the same. It firing in the other direction. Oh well. At least I got more than another 5,000. Uh, this is probably not the best way to play this. And there's more fire coming. I, 
can't even see the... Oh, that was not a very good idea. Well, this boss has some similarities with... Oh, and I died again. I think I... I think I should admit, I also didn't know, really know what was happening there. So, and game over. I'm also out of continues, so it seems. So it goes back to the title screen, also showing me some high scores, and... That's basically it, and I, I, I don't really know what to think. I mean, this game was always kind of fun. Um, and it still actually is kind of fun, but all in all the very repetitive gameplay makes it all slightly disappointing, even if I was having some fun uh, while playing it. And maybe I was just expecting a bit too much, but it makes me wonder once again, are we remembering Sega games too biased because of some of their hits? And are most of them actually not as good as we like to remember? Um, in the end, I will say do have a go at this game um, for some nice casual gameplay because it is actually pretty fun to play, especially with two players probably. Just don't expect it to last for too long. And with that, uh, I would like to thank you for watching.